Here we'll be dem demonstrating a test that will measure hand grip strength. Uh, this will be done using a hand grip dynamometer. The first thing that you need to do is adjust the grip size of the dom dynamometer until the second joint of the index finger is at a 90 degree angle of the handle. As you see here, we've already pre-fitted the hand grip dynamometer for our subject. If you would need to adjust, that is done by turning the silver knob that you see in the white handle left or right to either increase or decrease the grip size. Once again, we've already set uh, preset this size for our individual, so it is actually ready to go. The proper positioning for your subject is in the seated position, feet flat on the floor, back supported. The elbow will be placed at the individual side and bent at, 90 degree, at a 90 degree angle. The dynamometer is placed in the subject's hand and you will basically instruct them to squeeze as hard as they can for two to three seconds and then release. After this squeeze, you, the dynamometer will output a force that was generated by the individual and you will record this measurement. We will demonstrate how to, or to have our subject demonstrate how they go through this, this test. Um, keep in mind that you will do this on both hands, both the right and the left. You can alternate back and forth and you can do as many trials as necessary uh, for your protocol. Here we will just be demonstrating uh, within the right hand, um, but the exact same process goes on with the left hand. So again, your subject seated, elbow bent at 90 degrees directly at their side. You will hit the start button on the dynamometer here. That will basically zero the dynamometer out. And then you will ask your subject to squeeze as hard as they can for two to three seconds. And then they will release the dynamometer. The force that they were able to generate will come up on the screen. You will record this on a data sheet or where it is necessary. Make sure too that your subject does not extend their arm out um, or move their arm in any fashion when they are squeezing. Um, the tendency is to move the arm either in an upward motion, downward motion, somewhere away from the starting position. Make sure that it is clear to your subject that it stays uh, in the starting position with a 90 degree bend in the elbow. To repeat this trial, all you need to do is hit the start button on the dynamometer again. This will zero it out and you can repeat the trial. Also of note, make sure that you remind your subject to breathe there during the squeezing of the dynamometer. A lot of times subjects will want to hold their breath, um, but it is important that they breathe through this trial and do not hold their breath from start to finish.